Hi, it's Chrissy from Dragonfly Cards again, following on from yesterday's video where I showed you how to do the um, colour swatch. And then I made a card, um, and a few people have asked me how I made the card, how I made the squiggly lines, how I put it on, um, how I printed it, how I printed the text. Um, so. I'm not going to make the card, I'm not physically going to show you how to make the card, um, but I'm going to show you how I set it out, um, ready to print. So back in Word, although I'm going to be honest with you, I actually didn't do it in Word, I actually did it in Craft Artist, but not everybody has that and it isn't available, but brilliant program. Anyway, so a lot of people have Word, so I worked out how to do something very similar in Word to show you guys. So as I say, here's the swatch that we had yesterday, and um, I've grouped it all together so I can move it around where I want. So I always use an A4 piece of card to, to print to print all my cards on, which gives me... Um, a near 6x6 six six card, which is my preferred card size. But it also gives me a little bit of extra at the top where I can print duplicates if I'm going to cut things out or um, if I'm going to mount the sentiment rather than print it directly on the card, then I have this space at the top. So the first thing is we need to kind of get a layout so I know for my cards that I need a 14 by 8 square so if you hold down the shift key and drag you get a square and here is the measurement if we do this little fly out arrow and we click on lock aspect aspect ratio then it'll keep it as a square and as I say I need it to be 14.8 okay obviously it's not much good having a layout like that so we're gonna to have to take the color out so we're going to take the fill out no fill so we're just left with a square align that at the bottom corner and then do copy Sorry, Control C and Control V to get. Sorry, Control C, Control V, so we can get another one. And if I line this up, that should meet exactly in the middle, and it does. So this would be the back of your card here, and this obviously is the front of your card. So you can type something on the back if you want to type. Um, if you've got a logo or anything like that you can um, type in a logo put, um, sorry pick a logo uh, dear me enter a logo oh wrong folder Let me just pick that one. Once you leave a picture on in Word, you can't move it around. It's kind of static, and you're going to need this again later on. So um, if you click on this, what looks like a bridge, um, and then see more, and go to text wrapping, and I always pick through, and OK, and then that releases it and you can move it wherever um, if you want to centralize it if you click on that hold the shift key down and click sorry hold the shift key down and select both of them and if you go to picture shape form a uh, picture format and then align align center and align middle and it puts your logo in the middle there oh 
don't know what happened there. Um, so, wiggly line. So, this is not quite the same, but it's not far off to what I um, to what I did. So, I'm going to insert, and I'm going to insert a shape. And there's this funny little wiggly thing here. Now, it's usually located down the bottom here in the stars and banners bit, but because I've used it, let's put it up here. Draw it. Obviously, we need the wiggly lines in a different place, so we're going to rotate it. And we're going to change that we're going to take change the colour to white. And we're going to take out the outline because we don't want to be able to see it. And then you just place it where you like it, basically. Okay, for the purpose of this, that'll do. That's okay. So if you click on that and you click on the swatch, and right click and then group and then you can move it around where you want to place it <coughs> excuse me okay so then we had um what do we have we had a little window in here where you could see the boat so basically i'm going to do i'm going to print this once on the card and then i'm going to print it again up at the top and that's the one you're going to hand cut out. You're going to punch out a hole in the middle so you can see the board. So I used a small circle die. So what I actually did was I actually measured from cut line to cut line on the circle. And it was about 2.5 centimetres. So we're going to insert a shape. And we're going to insert an oval. But if you hold the shift key down, the oval becomes a circle. And as I said, it was 2.5. So we want to keep it the same, lock the aspect ratio, and do 2.5. And enter. Now obviously, we need to, again, good old Alexa. So we're going to make it white. And we're going to take the outline out again. And then I would group it again. So hold down your shift key. You've got that highlighted and you want this to be grouped. Right click. Group. Group. And that's it. We've got them all attached so you don't have to keep moving everything. Um, I'm going to place it here now. Um, that's where I think I'm going to have it. And then a boat. So we're going to insert a picture this time. And I've saved it in somewhere. Mm. Pictures. Save pictures. Boat. Insert. Okay. And again, as I said, once you've dropped it on your screen, you um, it won't move until you change the layout option. So text wrap in through, OK, and then we can move it. So pop it in your window, hold down the shift key, change the size. If you hold down the shift key, it keeps the aspect ratio. So till you get it the size that you want, you can use the arrow keys to position it exactly where you want it and I think that'll be maybe a little bit further down and if you hold the shift key down again and click all the other grouped uh, actually no because we don't want first of all this one here we want a copy of so control C control V and we have a copy oh, no we don't let me try that again. So, Control C, Control V. There we go. Don't know what happened there. And I'm going to put this at the top, so we need to rotate it. So 
sorry about that. Okay. okay, sorry about that. So we need to rotate it. So sorry, I've lost my um, I've lost my train of thought now. So we need shape format, rotate, rotate ninety degrees, and move this up to the top. Now we can put this boat back and now we can hold it together. So with that highlighted and the shift key, you would highlight that and right click <coughs> and group and then put it back to where the position. Okay. <coughs> and to the only thing now we've got is to um, add the text. So you go to insert and this time we want a text box and we're going to draw a text box down the bottom and just draw a box any size, doesn't matter for the moment. Type in your text, so I did what and because we highlight it, go to home, pick the text that you want. I'm doing Baby La La Lisa and I need it to be a bit bigger. That should be okay. And we need to go to shape format. Again, we need to take no fill and no outline. And then we can put that where we want it to be. And I think I'm going to put it maybe there and that's it the only one more thing that you need to do is you need to take these lines off because obviously you don't want to print these lines so back to outline no outline no outline and then send it to print put this on your guillotine at just under 15 centimeters, cut that off. You need to hand cut this, punch your hole either with a hole punch or with a die, 3G form, and overlay it on the one on the card. And then you'll see the little um, boat through your window here. Put your anchor on or whatever you're going to put on there. You could, um, the birds I did were um, gummy pan, little tiny birds, um, but you could actually find a um, silhouette and print them straight onto the card. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Sorry about the interruptions with the phone. And um, if you've got any questions, let me know. But I hope it's been helpful. Everybody have a lovely day and I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Thank you.